There's been no one for so long. Who are you? Don't you fucking dare. I am Yoda. Fuck you. Oh, this is gonna be good. I have my orders from Brian Johnson himself. This is where we snuff coke. I have my coke and supreme leader Kathleen Kennedy. I have an urgent communique for General Hugs. About his mother. Yeah, hello? This is Marvel speaking. We want our jokes back. Jedi's weapon deserves more respect. It's and he's got those reflexes like a mongoose on amphetamines. This has left a vapor trail. Boomski! It's a red child. Look at that shot right there. Phenomenal racket head control. You can't teach shots like this. Mentally, he's a fortress. Oh, that's outrageous. <laughs> the guy is so talented, it's beyond a joke. That's just an oil painting. Ha, huh, missed. Those are some slow ass bombers. And that is some primitive technology. At least they have something in common with the movies. They all went fucking backwards. Hey, remember me? The X Wing. 20 years before the Empire fell, many different kinds of ships existed. But 30 years after it, nostalgic for the good old oppressive times, I suppose the resistance was. Or maybe, creativity issues it was. Like the rest of this trilogy, they say, it's like poetry and it rhymes. But this a fucking rhyme it is not. General, Supreme Leader Snoke is making co contact from his ship. Excellent. I'll take it in my arms. General Flux. Hello. Hello. What are you doing here? Wait. Where's Han? Dead in a bottomless pit, because arsed you were not to do something about the boy you almost murdered in his sleep. The boy you were so afraid of what he might become. Not to mention arsed you were not to save your friends, Luke. Or should I call you Jake Skywalker? Jake Skywalker. Indeed. The real Luke left an epic tea drinking session with me to go save his friends, and nobody would reject spending more time drinking tea with the great master unless the reason meant very much to him. So the real Luke this imposter is not. Now let's talk about Han Solo. Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Rumor has it that a third Death Star they made to put his character arc into its trash compactor. From a smuggler to a reluctant hero to the general of a rebellion, back to being a smuggler and now also a deadbeat dad who relapsed to his old ways and ditched his family to go smuggle ketamine with the family dog. Bravo, J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy. Bravo. Panja Club wants their investment back too. I spent that money. On what? Life insurance, I hope. 
Kanja Club wants the Kanja Club. I heard you also borrowed 50,000 from Mike Oros. I never made a deal with Mike Oros. Tell that to Mike Oros. <laughs> Good to see you. I want my money, so -ho. Boys, you're both gonna get what I promised. Have I ever not delivered for you before? Yeah. 48 times. My son is alive. No. It's too late. No, it's not. Will you help me? Yes. My son is alive. No. Yes. <laughs> Little freak, I'm being torn apart. Yes, I know. I'll crush you. I never love you, little fuck. What are you doing here? Oh. Fuck off. What are you doing here? Hey, hi. Uh, you know, it's just your Finn. Hey, Finn. The Finn. Yes, the Finn. Her favorite metal singer. <laughs> Seriously though, they started out with an interesting idea that was new to the franchise, and then threw it away into the trash compactor of Starkiller based next to Han Solo's character arc, so that comic relief, Finn could be, and spend three movies yelling the name of someone who treated him like shit. Mary Sue, I mean, Ray. Whose last lines of the whole trilogy to Finn were, telling him he doesn't know her, basically demoting him to a stranger. Going to put the scene here, I was, but starting to take longer than 10 seconds to locate it, it was, and going through episode 9 almost hurts physically at this point. Other example, she ignores Finn and gets with the murderous psychopath who did this to her a uh -huh friend. Looks like someone treated him badly. No shit! What a beautifully hopeful friendship. Somehow Palpatine returned. Somehow, I snapped this movie's Blu-ray disc in half. Dark signs. Cloning. Secrets only the Sith knew. Only the Sith knew. The Force is strong with you. A powerful Sith you will become. You wonder why I keep a rabbit. Untamed rabbit. You have too much stake. You have to take your own heart. The droid we seek is in the hands of your father. Captain Falcon. A girl who had never held a lightsaber. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. Hey, sacred island, watch the language. They had me! Put the door! That was Nucky! The garbage will do! That was Nucky! That was Nucky! That was Nucky! The Aki Aki Festival of the Ancestors! This celebration occurs only once every 42 years! That was Nucky! There are gonna be pieces of us in three different systems! <laughs> What'd you do? I bypassed the compressor. That was Nucky! I bypassed the character co development. Why did the Emperor come for me? Because he saw what you would become. You don't just have power. You are a micro Thin, naked, leaking bag? Finn! Finn, buddy! It's so good to see you! 
She steals Luke's helmet, Luke's starfighter, and also Luke's but technically Anakin's lightsaber. Next, what is his fucking name? An inspiring message, this movie has for kids. Hmm, cool, theft is a nationwide decrease in prison capacity, I am expecting. But forget, let's not, that she also seemingly took the title of the chosen one, contradicting the vision of George Lucas, but care about that they did not. Also, Anakin Skywalker, where the fuck in all of this, he is, trying to tell me, you are, that turn into a ghost he did so he could fuck off again, and only come back at the end, to whisper sweet nothings into the ear of our, ahem, poster child, while all this time, fucking shit up, Kylo Ren has been, in the name of his grandfather and a vision Anakin himself had already denounced long before. Telling me, you are, that ghost Anakin was too busy eating ghost youngling soup to be arsed. And said, fuck you all, as he flew off like merry fucking poppins. Ahsoka Tano, had as large of a role in this trilogy as Anakin fucking Skywalker. One and three lines respectively, Ahsoka. The best female protagonist of Star Wars, by the way. So your stupid argument about sexism, putting sight of your ass, you can, when talk about Marisu, I do. Instead of Ghost Anakin, more important they thought it would be to put the ghost from Star Wars Rebels into this movie. Or maybe they mistook the two ghosts for each other, which I would not put behind them at this point. There's only one business in the galaxy that'll get you this rich. Destroying franchises. And all for now, that is, folks. An enjoyable time, I hope you had with me, looking at this clusterfuck, and hope to see you again soon, I do. With your friends, share this, and like and comment to support the channel. And as always, may the tea be with you. Captain Plums.